Welcome to Top Solid 7. In honor of our 300th Top Solid video, I'm just going to do something fun. Um, you might learn a thing or two along the way, but this is just fun to do. What we have here is the front end of an RC car. This is a project that I built uh, years ago, in fact, in our legacy product, in our V6 product. And I've migrated the data into Top Solid 7, and I'm going to rebuild the assembly for you just to show you how that would work. Let's get started, shall we? So what I'm going to do is in my assemblies folder, I'm going to create a new assembly. And I'm going to call this front end assembly. And in my sub-assemblies folder, I have all the various sub-assemblies already created ahead of time. So I cheated a little bit ahead of time before this video started, that's fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by adding our skid plate. And just like that, we've begun. So the skid plate assembly has everything in it that I would want in it already. Uh, maybe next we want to add our universal front A-arms. Okay. Now, one of the things I'm going to do before I do this is I'm going to make sure that include and last positioning is turned on. And the reason why I want that turned on is because I want Top Solid 7 to be looking at the positionings of all of our parts simultaneously so that we can test this assembly when we're done. So I'm going to drag and drop this in. We'll go to positioning mode. I'm going to take that axis there. Maybe to this one right here. That looks good. I'll go to plane on plane. And I'm going to do a median plane or a middle plane between that face and that face to a middle plane between this face and this face. Perfect. And if I go and test that, that's going to move up and down now. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to add three more of these. Now, I'm not going to do them as a pattern because, well, we want them to be independently controllable. And you'll see what I mean as we go on. So what I'm going to do is just use the standard Windows technology that we have at our fingertips. I'm going to hold Control, grab the component, and drag a copy of it down. And here we'll just go into the constraint positioning. Throw that there. We'll throw this against there. And like that, we have two of them. And look at that, they're independent. Let's do that a couple more times. I'm going to put that over there. And we're going to put that over there as well. And let's bring this around. We're going to, oops, pardon me. We're going to go here, like so. We'll take that plane to that plane. Let's flip this over. Do this one more time. Beautiful. So like that, we have our four universal A-arms. So let's go ahead and hit save once. Okay, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down to my parts list here, and I'll just use the Visual Explorer to help me find the part I'm looking for. Uh, that's my left steering link pin. I want actually my right steering link. Perfect. So if I grab my right steering link, drag that in there, I'm going to go ahead and put that right there, but I'm going to go ahead and flip that around, and I'm going to take this and bring it down there. Sorry, let me get this closer first. There we go. Actually, it seems that I need to turn off dynamic positioning. Let me do this for a second. I think I've pulled my part way off. Uh-oh. Let's maybe finish positioning this part first. Let's go back to here real fast, and let's do another me medium plane between that and that. We'll validate, and another medium plane between that and that. Beautiful. All right. So now we can flip that down. And now we should be able to just do our axis on axis, which we can just use with constraint mode.
There we go. Perfect. So, see, even I have problems when I move too quickly. So now that side's done. Let's go find our left side. So if we go up here to left steering link, we do the same thing, but for the other side. Uh, something fun regarding all of this. Uh, right now, this part is very much independent. Uh, if you middle mouse button click, you rotate the view, right? If you hold control, I'm sorry, if you hold alt and left mouse button click on the part, you can dynamically rotate the part independently from the view. Okay? Just, you know, a little trick for those of you who want to know. All right, so let's go here. Let's take that to that. And the reason the part's not following me is because I turned off dynamic positioning. Uh, let's go to plane on plane. And actually, we don't even need to do that. We can do it this way because they would share the same common plane anyway. Uh, do I need to flip this part over? Oh, I do. Sorry. get out of this real quick and flip that over and now let's do this one plane on plane from there to there beautiful let's flip that thing down and now we should be able to do our axis on axis awesome so, like that now, if we exit out of here, we have our left side and our right side of the assembly done. That's perfect. So I'm going to hit save. Let's keep going here. Um, I believe the next thing we want to do is add our wheel assembly. So let's just grab one of those, drop it in here. Now, all these balloons are handy. Sometimes they get in the way. So what we can do is turn them off. Okay? And now what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and position this. So I'm going to take the axis there, toss it on the axis there, flip this around. That's perfect. I'm going to do a middle plane constraint again. You'll find me use this one a lot because honestly it's just super handy. And we'll go to the middle between, oh, let's call it between this face and that face. Beautiful. So now we're assembled perfectly right there. So now we can move this up and down. And we can turn our wheel left to right. Awesome. Uh, I want to take another copy of this subassembly and toss it over here. I'm going to pop that there, and I think what we want to do is we want to flip this around. We want to invert the axis, like so. You can just double click on the icon on the balloon. It's really handy that way. And there we go. Now the linkage is inside. And we're going to do another midplane mate. Get in there. Perfect. And we want to go mid plane between that. Oops. And that. Perfect. Okay. So, we're getting really close to being done here. Next thing that I want to do is bring in our steering tie bars. Actually, not our tie bars, our, our T-links. We're going to bring this one in. I'm going to put this axis right on there. Put this one down here. Perfect. And we should have a sub-steering that we can add to this as well. Beautiful. We're going to take that to here. Yank that up. Take that to here. Also perfect. So, we have everything in here that we need. The only thing we need to add is a couple more little things. 
Um, I'm going to start by going to my parts here and grab my short spherical head bolt, drop it in here. That's going to sit in here because what we're going to try to do, what we're going to try to do here is actually make this all work. Okay? So we'll go here, we'll go there, we'll flip this around like that, we'll put this up to here, that's lovely. We're going to go grab another one of them, toss them over here. Put it in right there. And that's lovely. Okay. So now we're getting somewhere. I believe that all we have left to do now is bring our tie bars in. So let's start with the little tie bar. And I believe point on point is what we want here. If I zoom up and I select the cylinder there to the cylinder here. Beautiful. I'm going to move this thing around. And I believe we want the cylinder to cylinder there. Awesome. Now, I can flip that up a little bit just so it doesn't look bad, but what you should notice here is now when I pull one it moves the other. Very nice. Now here I've noticed something. I forgot my knuckles, my little knuckle bolts here, on the ends. So I have nothing to tie my design to. And that's no good. So we need to go and change that. So I'm going to exit out of positioning. I'm going to hit save. Now of course we know that these are in the tree here. Okay, but let's say we had the tree minimized. I could right click here. I can go to here and say show in project tree. There's my project right there. I can also right click here, go here, and just say open document. Very cool. So now there's my document opened up by itself. Um, change the rendering here real fast. And I'm going to add a bolt over here. So how do we do it? Again, drag and drop, right? Hold control, grab it, drag and drop. Put that there. Put that there. And you know what, just for fun, I'm going to grab that edge and I'm going to make it parallel to that edge. Don't really need to. It's just to show you that you can fully define these things. We'll save that. I'm going to go find my sub-steering T-Link as well. Do the same thing over here. We'll do it in dynamic rendering mode just because we can. Do the same thing. Perfect. And here's the best part. Um, up here I have tabs. Okay, uh, These tabs represent open documents, so I can just go right here. And like that, my main assembly is up to date. Pretty cool. I can close that tab too just by middle mouse button clicking on it. And now we'll add the last piece to the puzzle. Okay, We're going to add uh, the steering link tie bars. So the steering link tie bar is pretty cool. Um, it allows us to link the wheels to the steering mechanism. So let's go point on point again. Okay, I'm going to zoom up. I'm going to make sure I have the right face. I do to the right face here. That's beautiful. I'm going to do the same thing there. Perfect. Let's pull this down once. That's looking pretty good. And just to test this real quick, oh, look at that. My steering is working. Crazy. Let's bring this over to here, and let's go ahead and do our final mates. So we'll take that to that sphere. We'll take that to that sphere. And now we have a fully functional independent suspension. Should add springs maybe in a future video. And if I zoom way out here so you can see, I can actually play with the steering, and it works. 
So this is dynamic assemblies. Uh, should teach you a thing or two about Top Solid 7. Uh, this represents our 300th Top Solid video. We hope you enjoy it. We hope you enjoy it so much that uh, this project will be available on our website for you to play with. Have fun with Top Solid. Thanks for watching.